What's up, y'all? I'm back. Um, just to give y'all a little message and um, about this whole child support thing, man. These people, I think they need to be checked into uh, some type of psychiatric ward. Um, after watching this video right here, man, um, they think we're all stupid, right? But the gods know, the gods hold it down, but they think we're all stupid. It's it's crazy how our um, how government, or not all government, but you know, especially on the city and the county level, they're the crookedest fucking municipal corporation, fucking lawyers, attorneys, uh, you know, uh, DAs. I mean, these people are crooked, man. <clears throat> Check this video out. I just happened to type in child support conference here. And look at what this woman, look at what she's asking for when you go to child support. She's acting like uh, everything's fine and dandy, like she's the homie or something. We'll, we'll check this out. Hi, my name is Deb Mahaffey, and I'm the family law attorney at Hynum Law in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to talk with you about the items that are important for you to bring to a child support conference. Child support conferences are initially held at a domestic relations office in the county in which the child support complaint is being filed. When you go to your child support conference, whether you are the plaintiff or the defendant, it is important that you make sure you bring along certain information so that the conference officer can properly calculate your income that is looked at for calculating support obligations. Okay. <clears throat> Why the fuck do you need to bring your income to show these people so they can calculate how much you got to pay them. <laughs> that shit is funny, man. I will spit in this woman's face. <clears throat> if you do that shit, you are dumber than a motherfucker. And you got to understand, I know I heard a couple people saying that the Constitution, they won't listen. That's fine if they won't listen. You put it on the fucking court of record anyway. Because what you're doing is you're building up a case. But I won't go too far into that. But this, this fucking lady right here, she thinks she's doing somebody justice. Look at her face. She's serious about this shit. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's going to knock her head off that shoulder is uh, you enforce the fucking law on her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, you can use the Constitution and the statute. It don't matter. As long as you know the law, you ain't got to bring in shit. Tell her, hey, bitch, what fucking law says I have to bring in my income? Show me the law. Motherfucker, she, can't, she ain't going to be able to show you shit. All them books back there, she ain't read one fucking page. Guaranteed. And if she did, she couldn't comprehend the goddamn shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, she's pissing me off. So let's, let's keep going. Some of the things that you want to bring with you that are very important are as follows. Your tax returns. It is important that you bring your current tax return that has all of the attached schedules that were included when your accountant or your tax preparer prepared that document. For Absolutely not. You're not to bring her any tax returns she has no authority to ask you for a goddamn thing. It's like some. It's like a bum asking you for five dollars. Uh, do you feel obligated? You got to give a bum five dollars. Now, if you want to give him five dollars, it's up to you. But you're not pressured to do it. You know what I'm saying? You're not um, forced to do it. <clears throat> and if you are forced to do something, especially in something uh, in a legal circumstance like this. It's void. You could always go back and say, hey, I was forced, I was coerced, I signed under duress, um, and it's void. So, uh, she's playing the witch game. You might as well look at her like she's a witch, uh, like the Salem witch trial, except now the witch is in a favorable position 
and she's trying to put you in an unfavorable position, right? Uh, so Deborah Mahaffey Esquire. Um, she should be probably fucking slapped because she's trying to extract money out of you legally because you're ignorant and you don't know that you could tell this woman, you know, go kick rocks. I'm not giving up no information. Uh, don't you think they're asking for a little much? I mean, my mama don't even see my tax returns. So why she got to look at the, my tax returns? Is she somebody special? No. The only thing is they prey on your ignorance. <clears throat> and they know it. So no matter what they do, man, I know a couple of cats that, you know, they're trying to extract money out of people so they send you to the joint for a couple of days. But man, when you get out the joint, you sue these people immediately. Do not make idle threats. You sue these people immediately for violating procedure, bills of attainder, and all types of shit. And I think, you know, Rick W. got the uh, the writ of uh, quo warranto. And that seems to be working too. I never uh, thought about doing that until I seen his videos, but <clears throat> this woman is ridiculous. She's ridiculous. And if anybody ever calls me and has gone through this procedure and actually gave up your financial information to strangers, I don't know what I'm gonna tell you, bro. I bet. Um, but this is unbelievable, man. <laughs> this is unbelievable. So let's go on. Let's go on. For those of you who are operating businesses, you should obtain at least three years of tax returns and bring them with you to this. Wait a minute. <clears throat> wait, wait. I'm sorry. I have to stop the bitch again. If you got a business and you're earning money under another tax identifier number, they can't garnish shit. Even if they tried, you're not earning it under your name. You're earning it under a separate entity. She can't garnish shit. But if you give them the information, they'll put that shit in the database. And um, you know what, though? I still don't think they can garnish you because you pay yourself out of the business. So who are you going to pay in your business? Are you going to pay yourself first or are you going to pay child support? I hope you're going to say yourself first. So all they can do is to try to intimidate your employer and try to perpetrate the fraud that you owe on money. But then when you ask them for a court order, they can't produce it. So I had to work with my, my employer for a minute, man, for a minute. But I shouldn't even be working for anybody else. I should be working for myself. And that's, that's one thing that, you know, this one journey that I went through that child support kind of pushed me toward. I was going toward it kind of 50%, but now I'm going toward a thousand percent because of these, uh, these motherfuckers just tracking that social security number, man. They're tracking it. But if you don't earn money under that social security number, they can't do shit. They can't do nothing. So this bitch is lying to you. And I'm here to call out her fucking nasty ass bullshit that's slipping out the crack of her ass and coming up through her throat, out through her fucking nose and her mouth. And it stinks. It fucking stinks. Let's go on. Support conference. <clears throat> the other thing that is important for you to bring are at least six months of your pay stubs. You should have your most recent pay stub that reflects your year-to-date pay so that the conference officer can look at the pay stub and determine if you have certain deductions that apply to reduce your gross income to net income for support purposes. Also, if you are paying child care expenses or if the other parent is paying child care expenses, you should bring documentation of what those child care expenses are. It is important for the conference officer to know what you pay either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly to the child care provider. If you have any professional licensees, you should bring them along as well. It is very important that you have all of your income earning information with you when you go to a support conference. Otherwise, it is possible that your earnings for support could be calculated incorrectly, thus resulting in an erroneous support obligation. If you have any questions... Ah, 
Nah, you're wrong, bitch. They ain't no obligation with no contract. It's impossible in the legal system to have an obligation without a contract. Unless you committed a violent crime or, you know, damaged somebody's property. Then you got an obligation to serve some time. You're held as a surety, you know, all that stuff. But if it's just civil, and this is a civil matter, a contract, an obligation, a duty, a role to play, a derivative of an instrument, um, there's no way you have an obligation with no contract. So again, again, the spells are being cast upon you to bring you in, bring your payments in, bring your income, your business, everything. They want to know everything about every dollar you make that comes into your estate. They want a piece of it. And I already did the use of fruct laws. So you guys, if you didn't research that, that's your fucking assignment, man. Research the use of fruct laws and taking benefits from the state. I would strongly uh, advise, you know, if you're still working, you ain't retired, that you find a way to stop taking benefits from the state and do do business to business contracts. Uh, the government. The tax laws are written for business to business. It's written for business. You know, if you listen to Robert Kiyosaki, man, he has something called the, the cash flow quadrant. Uh, you know, you got E, S, B, and the I side. The E and the S is uh, employees and like sole proprietors of small business. And then the I side is more for big business and investors. The tax laws are written for fucking big business and investors, man. And with Trump being in office, the tax rate is going down on businesses and individual employees. It's time to start stacking your cheddar and it's time to start building businesses. And I will specifically speak to uh, um, so-called black folks that, you know, uh, you gotta start spending businesses in your own communities, man. You know, the Italians do it, the the, uh, the Russian Jews do it, uh, Asians do it. You got to start spending money in your own communities, man. You know, shots out to uh, Yusef L. Uh, he got a spot called Currency Circulator for that. But stop giving up your information and stop signing these contracts so freely. Um, I had to learn that myself. So, um I wrote a comment to this uh, video. You know what I said? I said, you don't have to bring shit, lying ass bitch. You ain't got to bring shit. You ain't got to listen to this woman at all. She has no authority, no power to tell anybody to do anything against their will. So Deborah, Mac what the fuck your name is? Kiss my Moorish ass. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Shouts out to the gods and the earths. Shout out to everybody who's uh, peeping these videos and getting curious about this whole child support thing and, you know, and trying to fight this shit, man. Um, you know, this is, they think we stupid. They make videos like this because they think me and you are stupid. But they, they'll quickly find out if someone who's educated about this shit, we ain't that stupid. You know what I mean? So, anyway, short video for me. I'm out, man. Everybody take care. I'm out to the next video.